confusing terms. We think of the real as being what is rock solid, um, real in terms of reality, and that's not what the poem means by this at all. What he means by the real is, in very simple terms, what escapes our knowledge, what escapes our experience. So there are those things which we can comprehend, which we can describe, which we can put into language, and we can understand through the knowledge base, which is the symbolic. There's also a dimension that we would understand through its familiarity, through identification with it, um, through an effective um, realm. But there's always something escaping. There's always something that is not caught there. There's always something that can't be captured in language. Whenever you try and express something, there's always an element of the unsaid. And this is, to put very simply, what the poem is referring to by the real. The film Into the Wild is often understood in terms of um, the relationship between the central character, Crystal Canvas, and um, the symbolic. And you can see, if you're familiar with the story, um, which I'm guessing most people are, a um, simple understanding of the story might be that what Crystal Canvas is doing is rejecting the symbolic, rejecting law, order, family, um, society, and going off um, into the wild. Um, so it's crucial to grasp this concept here. One of the concepts strongly related to the symbolic, which um, we'll also be referring to this morning, is um, a notion that can't use the name of the father. Um, if you're familiar at all, I imagine most of you are to some degree with Freud. Um, Freud's famous for his theory of the Oedipal complex. Um, and the Khan, in his rereading of Freud, um, restructures the Oedipal complex and retells the Oedipal complex, and rethinks the Oedipal complex. And he adds into it what I understand is more emphasis on the third partner in the Oedipal trajectory. Um, a lot of psychoanalysis, so schools of psychoanalysis, and the way they use Freud, <coughs> focus on the relationship between the mother and the child. But um, already in Freud, the father is clearly there. Already in the story of Oedipus, the father is clearly there. And um, Lacan wants to, to draw more attention to this paternal dimension of the complex, but not in the sense of the straightforward father figure who's there, the dad, um, the biological father. Um, he's drawing attention to it in a much more complex way. He draws attention to the father both in terms of the real, the imaginary, and the symbolic. He says there are three moments of the father, the real father, the imaginary father, and the symbolic father. And he, he t terms this symbolic father, or in relation to this notion of symbolic father, he uses this term, the name of the father. Um, so the name of the father, the name is a word which is then implicated within the symbolic realm. What the function of the name of the father is, is to initiate the child into the symbolic. If the name of the father isn't seen to be functioning from a clinical perspective, this can be understood as uh, the beginnings of a description of psychosis. Crucial as well, for the Khan, when he says the name of the father, the Khan is French, um, and the name of the father in French is nom de père, which is a homophone in French for um, the no of the father. So the Khan is playing on this a double meaning, the name of the father, um, as well as the no of the father, which is the, the introduction of law. Um, this is what the father figure, um, how the father figure functions in Freud, and the Khan is just emphasizing this, that what the father does is first prohibition, the no, uh, blocking access to the mother, or blocking um, complete access to the mother. So there's a clear symbolic dimension to this, this kind of idea of uh, prohibition, the idea of language, the idea of an introduction to language, but also, crucially, there's the clinical function that's to play um, in anchoring um, each one of us to the symbolic. When the anchoring is not functioning, then clearly something is if something is going wrong, that's already it introduces a judgmental aspect to it. But you could understand it as something is going wrong, as something is experienced as going wrong. Okay, um, so I'm going to stop there with theory. That's just a little bit of theory to ground things, um, and hopefully, kind of help hang on to some of the, the terminology that's been used. Um, what we're going to do now. Derek, just say a few words about the, the choice of the story, um, story, books, film, um, 
and then Mike is going to, to talk a little bit more um, about this, um, the idea of the symbolic in relation to the story. Yeah. More emphasis on the name of the body. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, Derek will talk more, more broadly and widely about the story as well, and then we're going to open things up for questions. Um, if you have questions to go along, I think probably best to try and hold things to the end. Um, if you're getting lost, if you can try and kind of hold on to um, where you were when you got lost, and we'll try and wrap things up at the end and explore things um, in more detail, but also um, rewind a little bit and try and clarify things if things are not clear. Okay.